Hello and welcome to A Sustainable Life, where I'll be teaching you tips and tricks on how to live a more eco-friendly and green lifestyle. Today I'll be talking to you about coffee and three different ways to make it at home and love it without breaking the bank or hurting the environment. So let's get started. Actually, before we even begin, if you're a Starbucks or Dunkin' or local coffee shop fanatic, you can still go there. But if you just take one of these guys with you, you'll already be helping. You might even get a little bit of a refund. Uh, I think Starbucks gives you 10 cents back if you take your own mug. So the first method I'd like to talk to you about today is called the mocha pot. And it looks like this. Um, this is a stovetop coffee maker, which was invented in the 1930s in Italy. And it's kind of iconic for Italian coffee. So this is the lower chamber. This is where you keep all you pour in your water. This is where you pour in all your coffee granules. Use a fine, co finely ground coffee here. And then this is where the coffee would be releasing. The water is heated, heated up over here and then it kind of releases into this pressurized chamber here. And then it kind of gets into the top chamber where all the coffee um, is kind of like spurting out into like a fountain almost. So it's an interesting way of making coffee, but it's really good. It's probably my favorite method of making coffee. But quick note, if you don't like having like a huge mug of coffee and you prefer an espresso shot or something like that, then you might want to get a smaller one. Right now I am holding like a 10 ounce. Um, this will make a really nice large mug of coffee, which I really like because coffee doesn't really affect me that much, but I just love the taste of it. So I just like having that. But again, you don't really need this. You can get like a smaller one. Um, there are many different sizes and you could probably get um, the two ounce or four ounce. I think there's like a six ounce. So I'm gonna make this for you and see how it comes out. There you have it. After just around four to five minutes on medium flame, you can have your coffee and pour it into your favorite mug. The second method is called a French press. This is how it looks. And really easy mechanism here. All it is is just an inner pot and this uh, filter and the top, the lid. So all you have to do is you put in your coffee grinds and some hot water around 200 degrees in here and then you can stir it around and then you secure the lid and then you let it steep for around four to five minutes just in this pot right here and then you slowly push this down so that essentially traps all of the coffee grinds and leaves you with just the coffee at the end. Now let me make it and you can see how it turns out. So now that it's all plunged down, all I have to do is pour it in my mug. Cheers. The third and final way is making instant coffee. I know, coffee snobs are gonna hate me for this, but it's actually great for the environment because it involves very low energy in roasting or in shipping because it's very lightweight. So all you have to do is, and I'm sure you guys know this, pour it into your favorite mug and put in your favorite instant coffee, which you might not have one, but I actually have one, and this is Cafe Bustello. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I will leave a link down below on Amazon if you want it. So basically all you do is put this in, and that's it. You can flavor this any way that you like. Um, particularly, I like 
using some French vanilla syrup or some raspberry syrup or whatever I have on hand, um, or just drinking it like this for a nice caffeine boost without any cleanup because this is so easy to do. And it tastes pretty good actually, to be honest. I really like this one. And that's it. Three zero waste coffees that you can make in the comfort of your own home that you'll love and you'll be saving the environment. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.